scored a goal, Arsenal 4 out of 4, they are top of the league, we lost to West Ham, that can only mean one thing, we're going to beat Arsenal. Do you know what, it would be typical Villa, it just would to be absolutely horrible for the last couple of weeks, go to a banging form, reinvented Arsenal side and win. That's me hoping anyway, it really is, that West Ham game was better, but again we're not creating anything. I've said it, if you watch the end of that West Ham video, if I was being reactionary, I don't know, I still don't think Gerrard's the right man, I think there's something wrong with Villa at the moment, I think Perslow brought him in as a, as a name. I don't think there was any sort of substance behind it. I don't know. I'm just doubting everything at the moment. So yeah, there's something worrying going on at the moment. Obviously, Arsenal away tonight, which by the way is one of my favourite away games. I'm absolutely buzzing to get down to the Emirates. Manchester City on Saturday, R5 at Villa Park. Um, yeah, tough two fixtures coming up now. And then after that, you've got Leicester and Southampton. For me, I think I'm going to probably write off the next two games. Is it negative? Possibly. Look, I want us to go there. I want to be proved wrong. I want to get a result. I want Gerard to prove me wrong. I just can't see it. But then again, that Leicester and then that Southampton game, those are the ones for me because after that is the international break and if you're going to make a change, you do it then. I don't like talking about it. I really don't because like I said, I want Gerard to prove me wrong. I want to go to the Emirates tonight and put in a massive performance and get something. I just, I just for the life of me, cannot see it because what would I base that off? We haven't seen anything for a long time now. But look, like I said, Arsenal, one of my favourite away grounds. I'm buzzing for it. Should be a good day out anyway. But anyway, before we crack on with that, a lot of people watching this right now, whether you're an Arsenal fan, Villa fan, a lot of people watching this aren't actually subscribe so if you haven't subscribed go down below free easy subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 50k we're gonna hit it this season leave a like on the video if you do want to enjoy it as well let's try and hit a thousand because we have done that for every single vlog this season which is massive but again lovely weather last game in august let's put in a decent performance fingers crossed of the villa boys We are in London, a couple of minutes from the Emirates. Yes. No, it's not going to look pleasant tonight. No, I'll go 3 now. 3 now. Yeah, I can't do anything. Gerard talks a very good game in his press conferences, but he just cannot translate it onto the pitch. He doesn't transfer it. Yeah, he doesn't just doesn't go onto the pitch. And yeah, well, well, we might start okay, but then it'll just end up being the same old. It doesn't matter who he puts on the pitch if the same system's going to happen every single week. So that, that's your problem. I said it in the intro, this is one of my favourite away grounds. I absolutely love coming here. Team news is interesting. Mings comes back in, Wendia comes back in, Bailey, uh, Coutinho's on the bench, it's probably what I would have gone with. It's encouraging, but I'm still not feeling it. Jay, how are we feeling today? So. Yeah, it, it just reiterating what you said. I'm, I'm a bit 50 50 at the moment. I think that's the, uh, that's the situation with the club at the moment, which is a shame. But I think we'll give it a go tonight. I mean, we've got nothing to lose at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm relatively quite positive. I'm going to go. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go two one. Yeah, Villa. Yeah, two one Villa. I think we'll, I think we'll grind it out and we'll get a result here. I reckon. Mad, mad. Um, yeah, I, I, the pressure's off us. I quite like that. The pressure's not on us today. We're not expected to get anything here at all. Coming away to a big side. Pressure's on them. So we'll see what happens. But then lads, ask them away. What's the score prediction, mate? Two one Villa. Two one Villa. What are you thinking, lads? Two one Villa. Two one Villa. Can it be? Arsenal away. Score prediction. What are we saying? I'm gonna say a draw today. Arsenal get top marks for the squidgy seats and the very good leg room. Can't complain. Can it get any worse? Concert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Massive fan. Yeah. So we've got a disappointed performance tonight. I don't expect to win. We want a performance for something. We're going to hold on to. Just pull away from tonight. We're on the right track because so far it's been just not good enough. Well, that's what we want. We don't want a result. If we get that bonus performance, that's what we need today. Performance. Here's for the score. Realistically, I think we'll lose. I think it'll be.
Martinez is doing at all, flaps at it, falls straight to his feet. It's a terrible goalkeeper, you've got to say. Again, same old, don't know we've got a plan. Arsenal are the absolute opposite. Every single player knows what their job is, they know where they should be on the pitch. Villa don't, I don't know what we've come here to do tonight. Um, just going forward, again, haven't created anything. Just when each player gets the ball, it's sort of improvisation on the ball and sort of, oh, what should I do now? Because I don't know where anyone's going to be. They're absolutely doing us down the wings. Tierney, every single time the ball's on. The goal is an absolute shocker. Again, it's passing down the wing, easy. I don't know what Martinez is doing. It could be four or five, it could be four or five easily. Martinez made an unbelievable save in the end there. It's just too easy. We haven't created anything. I don't know what we're doing. Wendy hasn't got on the ball enough. Bailey hasn't got on the ball enough. Watkins seems to not be where he used to be in the box. I don't know. I don't know. What can you hope for? Because again, we just look clueless. We'll see. struggling a little bit but we've been better creating a couple of chances while coming through Bailey doing alright shoot Doug you gotta shoot it son and that was that it's the next morning I haven't got as much sleep as I would have wanted to it was a long night it was a late night coming back from Arsenal um, have we come to accept the bare minimum I think look the last sort of 20 minutes at the Emirates was better I mean that's all we have that is the minimum isn't it just showing a bit of something showing a bit of fight I know all the cliches bring them out showing a bit of passion all that sort of thing but we were better there's no getting away from that we were better in the last 20 minutes but at the end of the day, it's that first half and the, you know, the majority of the game that's let you down there. You saw how negative we were at half time. It wasn't good enough again. It was just we were saying, seeing the same things. Luis scores from a corner. Again, fair play to him. Is he going to be off today? I mean, I'm filming this at 9 o'clock in the morning on transfer deadline day. It could all change. I don't know. It's all a bit of a weird one. I'll be very angry if he does leave. I think we've scored four goals this season and after three of them, we've conceded within about two or three minutes, which is not good enough. It's so weak. The cat is clawing at the so far because yeah it's just weak conceding so quickly after you've worked so hard to get back into the game if you score away at Arsenal and you're not in the best form in the world you make sure that you just settle for five minutes at least it's really poor Martinelli is in so much space at the back stick and again it's it's so poor for Martinez not the best night for Martinez in a Villa shirt at all again it's, it's a couple of mistakes for him but again it wasn't good enough overall on the night it wasn't I think Arsenal weren't the best especially in the second half they weren't they weren't scintillating, they weren't incredible. 
and they were I wouldn't say they were there for the taking but you know they weren't great anyway Man City on Saturday that, that could be fun that's as close to a write off as you're ever going to get that's not negative that's just a fact and then Leicester and Southampton those games are the ones now for me those are the ones you've got to show something and get six points you really do but that's it for me thank you so much for watching this video please do leave a like on it if we can hit a thousand that'd be massively massively appreciated please do subscribe if you haven't already on the road to 50k without further ado I'll see you on Saturday up the villa.